Well, hey guys, I hope you're all okay. I hope you're all calm. I hope you're all living in peace uh, and not fear about any of this stuff. Because there is no fear. Once you accept the Messiah, the only truth, the only, um, you know, the only real love, which is the Father, which is the Christ. And once you accept Christ as your personal saviour, there really is little to no fear left. Even when dealing with subjects such as this. Um, when people say, you know, download their spiritual information via drugs, they get an information overload. And um, as I was saying in my last video, they, some, some people never come out of the rabbit hole. And just to address someone's question there, that's what I was referring to is that it can be too much for our flesh to handle. So we need the only truth there is, which is the Messiah, the gentleness of the Holy Spirit revealing the absolute truth to us, which is no longer about our carnal needs or desires. It's actually about the Spirit of Truth, which is the Holy Spirit. And um, Jesus Christ is available to everyone. God is no respecter of persons. He loves you just as, much as, just as much as he loves me. And he wants to reveal truth to you just as much as he has revealed truth to me. Um, so please, you know, if you're on the fence on this, give it a go. Seek the Messiah and you'll see what I'm talking about. Something really intrinsically supernatural about um, what the Holy Spirit can reveal to us. Because I certainly wouldn't know anything if it wasn't for the Holy Spirit. Uh, just... Uh, a couple of years ago, I was completely lost in atheism, and I was, you know, adamant and angry uh, about anything to do with Christ, and I thought I would never believe or have faith in Christ. I used to laugh and laugh, uh, but, you know, the Father is good. So when we're talking about the truth movement, we're talking about Alex Jones here and David Icke. Uh, and people like that. Alex Jones and David Icke, I hope that you have woken up to the gatekeeper mentality. Uh, they have put the gatekeepers there. Um, if you look at people connected to the mainstream media in these ways, uh, people that get interviews on the mainstream media on primetime news, like Alex Jones, like Mark Dice, like David Icke, uh, Russell Brand, all of these kind of people, then that is a good judge of whether they are genuinely seeking truth or they are plants. Now, why are they putting plants there? Because they knew that this mass awakening was coming. There was a spiritual shift going on in the world. They knew this was going to happen. And the only way to try and control it is to use, uh, use it, to use you know some real truth mixed with lies which is exactly what the Vatican has done with Christ. Real truth mixed with lies. They have taken the real teachings, the real words of our Messiah, and they have built their false uh, religion around it. Now, Alex Jones and David Icke are just merely the two pillars. Uh, these people work with these pillars. Their, their mentality, the way that they deceive people, is the same patterns running through it. So with Alex Jones and David Icke, you've got them, Alex playing the negative pillar and David Icke playing the positive. Alex Jones is about um, severity, fear, and David Icke is all about love, false love. So there you've got your two pillars and they're holding up the same web. They're holding up the same gate. They are gatekeepers. Whichever side tickles your fancy, you're likely to want either one of them. Whether you're, you're in, you know, interested in everyone is one and we're all love, then you'll go for today to David Icke. If, you, if you're more into grab your guns and rebel, you'll go to Alex Jones. Do you see how it works? They've always got the extremities of left and right covered, just the same as in politics and all that. So if Alex Jones and David Icke really are gatekeepers and false truthers, we need to put everything they do and say through the microscope. And we need to examine what they are pushing in order to you know, truly see what the agenda is. Because, let's face it, if they are gatekeepers, everything that they spout, everything that they say, everything that they spout, uh, there will be a reason for that. And let's face it, if David Icke was a real researcher, he wouldn't be stuck at this plateau. Truth does not stop at a plateau like that. Um, they never really go much further beyond than what they originally said in the first place. And that is a complete plateau. 
the truth is way, way deeper than these people suggest. Um, so let's examine Alex Jones for a second. So Alex Jones is always pushing the elite being satanic with the transhumanist agenda. So he wants you to think that the elite are satanic, which is true. Again, there's truth mixed with lies in all these things. So Alex Jones is saying the transhumanist agenda is evil. Therefore, let's put it through the microscope of the overall agenda. And that says to me that the elite's transhumanist agenda is likely going to fail. Uh, they want you to be angry and hate that agenda of the elite. So that is one thing that, uh, again, the, they are portraying the elite as satanic and evil, and they want the elite to fail. Why do they want the elite to fail? Because they want the false Jesus to be the answer to the satanic elite. And that is exactly what Alex Jones is doing. Just like grab your guns, order out of chaos. They want chaos. They want you to think that this human system is the problem, but then the new age spiritual system is the answer. But of course it's not the answer because, again, it's just the battle between two pillars. The battle between the minus and the plus, Satan versus Lucifer. And it's completely false uh, Hegelian battle. You will accept the love of Lucifer. You will kill people in mass. The police will wear the black uniform of Saturn. You will accept the love of Lucifer. You will kill people in mass. The police will wear the black uniform of Saturn. Wear the black uniform of Saturn. Your new world order will fall. Your humanity will defeat you. I'm going to be going out on a limb to say stuff that causes trouble. 1776 will commence again if you try to take our fire. The answer to 1984 is 1776. You will accept the love of Lucifer. You will kill people in mass. And that's what Alex Jones is doing. I've even heard Alex Jones mention before that... Uh, that Superman movie was about Jesus. Now, the Superman movie was about Jesus, but it wasn't about the, f the real Jesus Christ that lived 2,000 years ago. It was about the false Jesus that is going to take on that role of David uh, defeating Goliath. Uh, all of these things biblical, of course, but this false Jesus is going to come along and destroy the giant evil problem um, of this you know, system, this world, uh, to bring in the false spiritual uh, new age. So even with Alex Jones, there is an element of pushing the false Jesus, but more so with David Icke, because he's the plus love pillar, and he's all about love and light. Now, David Icke serves that very purpose, to lead you into a new age mentality, Luciferian mentality. Uh, of craving for the light, love and light of Lucifer, the false love and light. And that is exactly what they're both doing. So they are demonizing Saturn. They are demonizing Satan. They are demonizing the human satanic elite. That is the whole agenda here. And the reason being, as I've said, mentioned before, is that they want the elite to fail. They want, the elite want themselves, they are exposing themselves externalizing the hierarchy in order to make you hate the human element of this satanic control grid but then they want you to want the the new spiritual now this might be a concept that you've not really considered before but let me put this to you um, they want babylon to fall they want babylon to fall think about that for a second they are exposing the Illuminati Babylonian symbolism <clears throat> left, right and centre. And that is not a bad thing for us to be exposing. Don't get me wrong. Because it is evil. It is satanic. But that's the whole point. Don't get caught in the trap of thinking that that is evil but then the New Age spirituality is good. Because it's both the same beast. Just the two pillars. So they want Babylon to fall. They are exposing Babylon. They are externalizing the Babylonian hierarchy of this world in order for people to think that that's, you know, out with the old system, in with the new, which is the same problem. 
They are pointing out their paganism. They are pointing out their pagan symbols. They are exposing themselves. They are exposing their own church, their own Catholic church, their own Vatican. They're exposing their own evil in order to create this extremely manipulative trick of leading to you towards the same beast but the different pillar. So, the same beast. They want you to want Lucifer. They want you to want the coming false messiah. It's all false, guys. These, these guys have got a very evil, narcissistic, manipulative mind um, that thinks far more evil than you could probably imagine. Far more cruel, misleading, um, evil trick, trickery than you could probably imagine. Um, and we just, you know, we can't even imagine what these people are like. They literally want to deceive the whole world. So anyway, and this is why, this is why I say to you, do not reject the Christ. Do not lump the only Messiah, the only hope we actually have, the only truth that mankind has ever known. Don't throw Christ out because of their church, because of their evil, their, the way they have stolen, almost, you know, stolen uh, what he said and his teaching and his truth and our Messiah in order to fit their pagan games of misleading you. And that is exactly what they're doing. They want you to reject that Christ. They want you to reject the Christ that walked this earth 2,000 years ago because they want you to accept the false one. And what they're doing is they are exposing their own symbols, exposing their own corruption in the church and saying that that Christ is to do with all that evil, all that symbol symbology and that is, you know, that's why that Christ is a deception. So you want this new age Christ, um, you know, this, this new age Christ, a.k.a. Jesus from the Bible, which they've put in their gospel according to Sananda. It's not, it's not the same one. And um, they just want you to think that, uh, you know, the church is evil, the Vatican's evil, and that they've created this whole charade and now, now is coming the liberation um, with this new Christ, this new age Christ. And that is, quite frankly, an outright lie. That is an outright lie. Outright trick. There is no liberation in the coming false messiah. The real Christ is the only way to the Father. The real Jesus Christ. And they have toyed with everything about him. His image his birth date and even the name I'm not an advocate of the sacred name movement there is no holy name available to us no absolutely holy name I do believe in the name Jesus Christ I do believe that 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 is what the father hears I do believe demons are cast out in the name of Jesus Christ so it's fine don't don't get tripped up on these you know stumbling blocks because that's all they are again do you think it's by chance this whole sacred name movement, this confusion is happening now? All of this confusion, this confusion everywhere. There's, there's confusion about a rapture, there's confusion about the name, there's confusion about everything. And it's purposely happening. You know, we're in the time that these things are happening. So in the next video, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about the coming false messiahs some interesting information and things to look at in terms of uh, what the Jews are expecting, what the Muslims are expecting and you know every religion in this world is in some way um, expecting this coming uh, second coming and it's completely false and that doesn't disclude Christianity so if you're a Christian out there uh, know that the Christian church has been corrupted as well the Christian church will uh, try and lead you towards the false messiah as a religious institution. Some churches just aren't paying attention and there are obviously uh, very evil, corrupt church uh, leaders on, on the mainstream platform that will try and lead you towards this one world unity of religions and the acceptance of the false Jesus. So be vigilant guys, be vigilant. Until next time, I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.